Hi friends, today uh, we will discuss about these uh, four topics. So, read data table, tabular HTML tabular data from the web, and create one data table, new data table, and filter by using the data table, and finally load the data table values into the CSV. So, here is agenda. See here. Uh, uh, we have a data table it has a three columns serial number state and uh, total villages so so we have a lot of data here and so in india all the states or uh, what is the number of uh, villages in that state these things and all so i want to load i want to load i don't want to load all the data into the csv what i want to load i want to load only uh, based on the filters something like a only the total villages load the data to the csv where the total villages is a uh, greater than 5000 like that so let's start go to the new oh, blank and uh, total villages above 5000 copy paste in the description create so step by step we will see so first flow chart drag that flow chart into the your panel first we need to extract the data sequence First, we need to extract the data. Get HTML table. I mean, get all villages from web. Okay, that is one sequence. Another sequence. create data table another sequence loads to csv load only load with filter load data with filter to csv okay so these are all the three sequences first let's go to the get all details and use the data scrapping method and select any one so it find you selected the table cell do you want to continue so it is extract all the values just give some value and click on the finish again it is asking do you have a, any i mean uh, different pages we don't have a different pages data it has only single page data okay just drag what we will do remove this one and make this as a our first sequence get all So inside this, there is a extract uh, data structure. Go to the properties and uh, right click and create a data table called uh, uh, source web source data table. This is uh, all the data. So here, if you see web source data table, it is a type of the data table, and the scope ext extend to the. This is a currently it is a only web extend to the flowchart level okay then you can able to access in the next sequences also 
so go to the create table and uh, to create a table and data table build data table this build data table so here the output of the build data table is a again create data table destination data table for this also you just uh, uh, increase the scope destination data table to entire flow flow chart okay click on this button so just remove all the columns remove the row rows so create one row what is it s dot n row so you remember that is a uh, let it be string and uh, next one is the uh, state that is also string if you want to change the data type you can change and uh, if you want to don't don't you don't want to allow the nulls means you can click uncheck this and there's auto increment you can use the default value if value is not there and you can make that as a unique and if you give the uh, maximum length is a minus one that means it will allow unlimited length okay if you want you can restrict so after that uh, total villages that is the so this one once you added so total villages is the integer that is the integer put integer so once you added these columns you can't edit you can't uh, um, change the that mean position also you have to remove once you add new one it will add it at the end only so your destination table is ready so after that what we have to do we have to load the data so to load the data already we have a source or uh, in the source we have data just go to the for each loop drag and drop for each loop using the all so what is that village extract data table can I see here the properties of web source data table where is web source data table that is a extract data table 